Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to film for you guys the products that I use for my skincare routine. So if that's something you wanna see, then just stay tuned. Okay guys, full disclaimer, I have no idea what I'm talking about. I know this works for me, I don't know why. I've just tried different products out. I've tried to see what works, what doesn't work. Um, I go cheap, I don't wanna go spend a lot of money on beauty products, so this is all from like Walmart or the Dollar Tree. And I just try to do what works on the lowest amount of budget. So I'm gonna start off with how I take my makeup off at night. This is the only thing from the Dollar Tree, but I use these. Um, and this is what I use to remove my lipstick at night since it's that color stay and it works really well. Now you can get these in the pink container or packaging and it's for sensitive skin and it does not work as well. So if you're doing it to like remove something, grab these blue ones. Then after I remove my lipstick, I'm gonna peel my eyelashes off, which it doesn't hurt. And then I'm going to use this product um, to remove any of the glue or eyeliner or mascara and this is Equate and it's from Walmart. And then I'm going to take warm water and wash my face with this. Once again, it's Equate from Walmart, so it's cheap. And um, this actually, I got this by accident. I had been using another product for a long time and I do the Walmart grocery pickup and they didn't have what I needed so they sent this and it's perfect because I love it and I would never have tried it so I love that they sent that to me. Then I rinse off that soap with a washcloth and then I'll take this witch hazel with a cotton ball and wipe it all over my face and it feels so good and cooling. Um, and then at night again this is the moisturizer I use. There's a hair. And I make this, the container is from the Dollar Tree, of course, and you get two for a dollar. And I make a mixture and it's coconut oil and essential oil. This is a game changer. My skin has been so clear, so moisturized, so like even ever since I started this. I started making this four months ago and it has completely changed my skin. Um, I only put it on at night because it's a little oily or greasy, but it does soak in quickly. Um, but I think this is amazing. I like rub it down my neck. I put it like on my eyelids and like where you would think you'd get wrinkles. If I have any left over, I rub it on my hands. They say you can put it like in the ends of your hair. This is a must. Um, I'll leave the recipe down in my description box. If you guys wanna see how I make it, comment, and if there's enough of you, I'll make it for you. I'm obviously getting low, so I need to do it anyways. And then I brush my teeth, and then I put this all over my body, and I really like this. And then I go to sleep, and when I wake up and get in the shower, I use a bar of soap to wash my face. Don't freak out, I don't know if that's terrible or okay or not, but it works, I haven't had any problems. And then I use this product again with a cotton ball. And then for the daytime, this is the moisturizer I use and I like to put it on while I'm still in the bathroom. So it has time to soak in before I make it to my beauty room to put my makeup on. This is one of those products though, it still has a little bit of color and coverage. So if you're just gonna be like at the pool or you're doing a no makeup day, I feel like this is a really good choice. Or maybe even for like your teenage daughter, you don't want her wearing like foundation or something. This is a really cool choice for you. And then once again, I lather my body up in this lotion and that's it. It's simple, it's cheap, it's easy. If you guys haven't caught on, that's kind of how I live my life. <laughs> um, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you learned something new. Um, if you guys have something that works, feel free to comment down below. I'd love to hear, the other subscribers would love to hear. Um, please hit the like button if you like it and subscribe um, if you haven't already and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.